A local museum getting ready to open a new sensory friendly installation this weekend. Not to mention it's also a place for families to beat the heat. Now last time we checked in with Chris Crow, he was getting ready to take a nap at the new Children's Museum yeah, right. downtown. And let's oh he is awake. Good morning Chris. I'm awake. Good morning, and you know what? We have to be awake. We have to make sure that we're letting everybody know about the newest exhibit here at the new Children's Museum. Of course, this being the breathing room. And instantly when you walk in, as we were just telling you guys about a half hour ago, you do feel that calmness. And I want to bring in Carrie again here from the new Children's Museum because we were talking about my special hug that I had earlier. But I think what's really cool is that you'll notice that these are up against the wall. And Carrie, these are for, for some of the visitors for maybe even some of the children that may be wheelchair bound and, and we wanted to make sure that they were included as well too, right? That's right. It was very intentional. Uh, the artist Michelle Monchoy wanted to make sure that this space was as inclusive as possible and that all visitors could get that special hug. So this sweater is at the right height so that a wheelchair could be wheeled up and then the two arms could go around with the weighted arms and they could feel that, that, that special closeness. And how did that conversation kind of arise working with the artist, making sure that inclusivity was a part of this exhibit as well too? Well, it's a big part of, of her practice doing um, sort of socially engaging work, um, but it was very important to us as an institution focused on children and families, especially with everything we've all gone through in the past couple of years, that we have a space that really addresses sensory friendly needs yeah. um, and so when we started talking about the space we wanted something that um, everyone and especially people who might be neurodivergent or have um, maybe um, challenges or need a different sensory experience could come in take a deep breath relax calm down and something else that the, the Children's Museum is doing is that, that sensory guide, that digital sensory guide that, that we were talking about that, that's going to be coming out soon. And, and that's going to help guide parents, caregivers, uh, anyone who, who, as you said, may be sensitive to some of this, to the environment around them. Give them a little bit of a preview about what they might be walking into. That's right. So we worked with uh, Shenya Scholl from Sensory Friendly San Diego on this installation as well as on this guide. So it's a digital guide. Visitors will be able to access it via a QR code and it will walk you through every single space in the museum and give you a little preview. This place has bright lights or this place might have a lot of ambient noise so that parents and caregivers can plan what visit makes sense for their child. All right, well, Carrie, thank you so much for walking us through that this morning. And Carrie, Eric, we're going to send it back to you. But again, just let's work on our breathing, right? One, two, three, four. I know there's a lot of stress on the desk yeah. going through the news. Yeah. When you get to a light story like this, you just want to remember to breathe, okay? One, go. two, three. It's dangerous four. at this hour to have us do any kind of relaxing breathing. I might <laughs> fall asleep at the, at the desk here. Ah, uh, Chris, that's cool, though. That, what, what an installation that's yeah. going to um, make a lot of kids. I uh, feel very special there at the Children's Museum. All right, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. <laughs>